Hello, and welcome to this beginner tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Whether you're new to flight simulation or using Flight Sim Gear for the first time, these videos are here to help you get started and improve your skills. In today's session, we'll explore the basic controls and how an aircraft functions. We'll be using the T-Flight HOTAS 1 Microsoft Flight Simulator Edition to demonstrate these controls. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the controls. To operate this Cessna, here are the basic movements you'll need to master. The pitch is the movement of the aircraft around its lateral axis, causing the nose and tail to rise and fall. By pushing or pulling the joysticks, you control the elevator which tilts the plane either upward or downward during flight. By moving the joystick left or right, you're controlling the ailerons, which will tilt the plane to the left or right during flight. The roll refers to the aircraft's rotation around its longitudinal axis, which runs from the nose to the tail. The yaw is the movement of the airplane around its vertical axis, causing the nose to move side to side. By using the third axis of the joystick, you control the rudder. While rudder pedals can be used for a more realistic experience, we will be using our Otis today. In both flight simulation and real-world aviation, speed is a critical factor. To control the aircraft's power and, consequently, its speed, you'll use the throttle. Pushing the throttle increases power while pulling it reduces it. Now that we had a look at the basics, let's get inside the cockpit and have a quick look at the instruments. We will focus on the screen in front of us. The airspeed indicator, found on the left side of the screen, displays your speed relative to the air. Keep in mind that airspeed and ground speed can differ depending on wind conditions. To ensure you're flying at a safe speed, check the airspeed indicator. A green zone means you're at a safe speed. If the indicator increases to yellow and red zone, you're going too fast. If it drops to white and red zones, you're flying too slow, which means the plane is no longer sustaining flight and could stall leading to a potential crash. At the center of the screen, the attitude indicator displays the aircraft's orientation relative to the horizon, providing real-time feedback on even the slightest changes in pitch and roll. On the right side of the screen, the altimeter measures the aircraft's altitude. Altitude is the aircraft height in relation to sea level. This barometric instrument shows higher values as you climb reflecting the decrease in air pressure with altitude. By familiarizing yourself with these three instruments, you'll be equipped to fly confidently in good weather conditions. We suggest starting your flight simulation journey with small, lightweight airplanes. In this video, we're using the Cessna 172, but here are a few other excellent options for beginners. The Flight Design CTSO, an ultra-light aircraft, the Cubcrafters NX Cub, and the Robin DR400. Thank you for joining us on this beginner tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. We hope you now feel more confident about the basics of flight simulation, including understanding controls, instruments, and selecting the right aircraft to start your journey. As you continue exploring the skies, Remember that practice is key to mastering both your skills and the art of aviation. Next time, we will show you how to take off. Until then, fly safe.